So in this video, I want to talk about an open racket face. Now you'll see in these clips here, we've got Alex on the forehand, two volleys, and then one ball at the front. He's got this tendency to let the wrist roll over the top of the ball. So the top edge comes over the top of the swing and drags the ball into the tin. And then we've got Elvis in the deep backhand, going to play a boast, and he ends up closing that face, not getting it open, and popping the ball into the tin because he's not getting underneath the ball. So the key thing to think about here is opening that racket face up and making sure the bottom edge comes through. So whether it be on the drives, there, making sure the bottom edge leads the swing, the knuckles come facing, facing the ceiling on the backhand or the thumb comes through on the forehand or on the volley, ensuring that you're sending that, that front edge to the target, to where you want the ball to go. So this is a common fault that exists amongst uh, squash players who transfer from tennis. So you'll see people when they're playing tennis have got used to hitting a top spin and coming over the top. It invariably happens or creeps into their technique on the squash court, they want to hit over the wall. So if you have come from a tennis background, you find yourself hitting lots of tins, be aware that you really need to work on getting that bottom edge coming through. You need to get that thumb opening up on the forehand towards the ceiling or those knuckles coming through on the backhand side. Now, it translates to all areas of the squash court. If you're looking to hit a drive and you want to get the ball fading away, you want to be using the strings. You want to be working the strings on the ball to impart spin on it so that it fades away and you get your weight of shot dying in the back corner. You want to be able to dig the ball out of the back corners. You want to be able to use height, so you need to get underneath the ball. When you're looking to take the ball in short with your drop shots, you want that bottom edge to come through to put spin on the ball to leave it short. So it's so important that you have this ability to open the racket face and you're able to get that bottom edge coming through on both the forehand and the backhand. On the volleys, you know, we've talked about over rotation. It's linked, you see Alex um, obviously having a little bit of an issue with this at the moment. So it, it's linked to that top, that top edge coming through on the volley there and over rotating. If you want a good exercise to practice this, ensuring that the bottom edge is coming through, you can just stand across the tee line and you can just hit the ball from side to side because you have to get that racket face underneath the ball. And then when you get more confident, you can go up to the volley because it's impossible to do this exercise if you're not able to get that racket face underneath the ball. So it's a great exercise. It's tough if you really struggle with it start on the ground and then work up onto that volley because that will get the thumb coming through on the forehand and the knuckles coming up or coming through on the backhand side so if you find yourself dragging the ball down you're hitting tins whether it be on the volley or at the front of the court or on the boasts think about what that bottom edge is doing you're getting too close with the racket face think about opening up and think about where are my knuckles where's my thumb